part two of an overview of the CQG spreader. There are two primary sets of actions for this window, changing parameters that impact the way your spread is traded and making changes to the trading parameters window itself. The parameter fields are either buttons, checkboxes, or fields that contain numbers. To change those numbers, you can type a new value in the field or click the field and use your mouse wheel to increase and decrease the value. When you change the default value of a parameter, the reset button becomes active and a small colored triangle appears to the left of the section heading. To return to the default, click Reset. To change the parameter window's font size, you right-click anywhere on the window and click the font size you want. Click the arrows on the left of the section heading to collapse and to expand the sections. Control plus click expands the section and collapses the others. Double click the top left empty cell to expand all sections. Click the Q formula button at the bottom of the window to open the Define User Formulas window. Click the checkbox to apply these settings to all open trading windows for this strategy. Also available are detailed help files for each section found by clicking the question mark in the corner of each section. To change the color of the DOM trader, click the color button to open a standard color selector. Now we'll review the overfill management section. It's possible to get overfilled when legs are being worked aggressively. Suppose you are working a 5 lot spread of a 1 to 2 ratio for the legs and therefore are looking to be filled with a total position of 5 contracts for the first leg and 10 for the second leg. In actuality, you are filled at 7 and 10. This parameter specifies how to manage this overfill. No selection indicates that the trader manages the overfill and that the system should take no action. Selecting auto hedge overfills indicates that when either the working or leaning leg is overfilled, the system should try to maintain the leg ratio. In this example, the result is an additional order is placed for four more lots on the second leg. In the case where you are overfilled one lot on the second leg, 5 versus 11 for example, the system cannot hedge the spread because maintaining the ratio would require a half lot order on the first leg. Avoid overfills indicates that the system should minimize the chance for an overfill to occur by working legs less aggressively. Specifically, the system waits for the exchange to acknowledge its previous action before it adds quantity or places another order. This is suitable only when working one leg of a spread. If ignore partial fills is checked, it tells the system to ignore fill prices on the primary orders. Instead, the secondary order is placed to hit the opposite market side using the current market prices, not the average fill price for the primary orders. In the How to Work section, you enter in the size of each leg as determined by the leg ratio for your spread. Work indicates the legs to work. The default is the least liquid leg. Next, set the order type for the non-working leg, either limit or market. Next is setting the messaging parameters. The volume multiplier determines the size of working orders based on a percentage of the resting volume available in the queue of the monitored leg. For example, if set to 2, then twice as many contracts must be available in the monitored leg than the working leg. The work threshold tells the system to work the order if and only if the available quantity in the monitored leg is and remains greater than this value. 
the system works the order only for the quantity that exceeds this threshold. The min size increment minimizes transaction count. This parameter tells the system to place an order only if the quantity available in the monitored leg is at least this much and to modify a working order only if the quantity available in the monitored leg increases by at least this much. This parameter is applied to the working order only when the monitored available quantity increases. The working order size is always modified on a decrease in the available quantity on the monitored side. Next is setting proportional execution parameters. The trigger leaning leg when first leg is partially filled setting indicates how many contracts by lots or percentage should be filled in the primary order before the secondary leg order is placed. This concludes part two of an overview of the CQG spreader. Thank you.